Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I'm starting a, a, a quiz kind of thing, and it's it's uh, really taken from Medscape uh, in a way that they have this uh, way of uh, teaching different subjects by giving you common questions. So what I am doing is I am displaying a question and want you to answer regarding hypertension. And that's the first question we are going to display in front of you, which is about hypertension. I want all of you to go through it and then try to answer by yourself which one is correct out of these four. And then we'll discuss. Let's read the question. Which of the following is recommended for accurate measurement of blood pressure according to 2017 guidelines from American College of Cardiology, ACC, AHA Task Force on Clinical Practice Guidelines? So these are the four options given regarding measurement of blood pressure. And certainly these are the preconditions how to measure blood pressure, a right methodology. And in that right methodology, what are the things you have to take care of? Let's see, the first option is that at the first visit, blood pressure should be obtained in both arms with the arm that gives the highest reading used for subsequent readings. That means that if you're encountering a patient for the first time, and you're checking him for hypertension or high blood pressure, you should be checking blood pressure in both arms. And then if, if one of the arm is showing slightly higher blood pressure as compared to the other one, then the higher blood pressure arm should be taken as a reference for subsequent and next readings. That's the first option. Second, the patient should avoid caffeine, exercise, and smoking for a minimum of 10 minutes before blood pressure measurements. This is again looking right option. Even the previous one was looking right. But I think there is some catch in this duration, whether it's 10 minutes or more than that or less than that. I don't know exactly the answer right now. I'm not going to tell you. I'll tell you subsequently. BP may be obtained with the patient sitting or lying on an examination table. That is looking not suitable. You can't take blood pressure in any, any uh, position. So there must be some uh, specific position for taking blood pressure, especially in OPD situation. And the fourth option, uh, the correct cuff size requires the bladder to encircle a minimum of 60% of the arm. Actually, when you take a blood pressure cuff and you see it, there are two uh, parts of it, inflatable part and non-inflatable part. That's what they are saying, it's inflatable part. That the inflatable part of the bladder should be covering 60% of the arm at mid circumference. Now I want you to at least scratch your mind for a few seconds to answer which one is correct. To me, it's looking like either one, two, even third is also looking correct. And there is some catch here in terms of percentage. So now I'm giving a pause. I want you to think of that. And with these four options, it's also emphasized that for the first time, if you're checking your patient for high blood pressure, you should be taking blood pressure in both arms. Your patient should be avoiding these things prior to taking blood pressure, which is caffeine, exercise, smoking. And there should be some specific position of your patient when you're taking blood pressure. And there should be some consideration of your inflatable part of the bladder when you're encircling around the arm. There, how much percentage of patient's arm is this inflatable bladder is covering? Usually you see a cuff encircle whole of the arm. 
but that cuff which is encircling is having both inflatable and non inflatable part so now am i going to tell you that in these options option 1 is correct two there is it's correct but it should be 30 minutes so you should be refrain from exercise smoking at least 30 minutes uh, before taking blood pressure third is that patient should be sitting with leg uncro cross back supported and feet should be lying on the ground that should be the position when you are checking someone's blood pressure last part is it this is 80% that your inflatable part of bladder should be covering 80% of uh, the arm so i think these four options in this exercise may have conveyed you some new informations and these informations you have to keep in your mind when you are checking your patient's blood pressure thank you very much for listening this simple exercise doing and going to you can read further on these four points to make your blood pressure measurement more accurate and more reliable thank you